If two atoms of different electronegativities are covalently bonded together, the bond will become polar. The more electronegative atom will get a partial negative charge, and the atom of the lower electronegativity will get a partial positive charge. If the difference in electronegativity is high enough, the covalent bond will effectively become ionic. As so much of the electron density will be around one of the atoms, it will basically become negatively charged and the other atom positively charged. Now the atoms remain close together due to attraction between their opposite charges rather than the sharing of electrons in a covalent bond. For this to happen, the difference in electronegativity values for the two bonded atoms, based on the Pauling scale, needs to be greater than 2.0. For example, sodium has an electronegativity value of 0.93, and chlorine has an electronegativity value of 3.16. The difference in electronegativity between the two is 2.23, meaning an ionic bond will always form. In reality, most bonding lies somewhere between covalent and ionic, with ionic and covalent character describing how much a covalent bond is like an ionic bond and how much an ionic bond is like a covalent bond.